Hey, Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see whether you and your special person will reconnect. So if you're going through a bit of a phase, a bit of a thunk, where the both of you are um, in a no contact, no communication stage of your connection, we want to take a look and see whether the two of you will come back together, whether there'll be a chance to reconnect. It is a general reading, guys, so please keep mindful. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be li listed just below the video. Okay, so let's begin with the King of Swords, and of course, he's all about communication. Okay, so the good news is there is going to be future contact and future communication between you and your person. So if you guys are currently you know, in this complete no contact, no communication phase where they're, they're not, you know, they're not speaking to you, they may have blocked you, or even if you guys are communicating, it's just not the same. If they're acting a little bit weird, if they're acting a little bit strange lately, um, that energy is going to shift, okay? So they will start talking, they will start communicating, or they will start responding with, uh, responding to you. That's the good news. The thing is with the King of Swords, um, he's very honest. He's very truthful, he's very transparent, he's very upfront, much like his queen. So the cards seem to indicate here that there may be a truth that is spoken that might be a little bit painful or hurtful to hear. So something that they may say could um, just be very emotionally upsetting or it could just be very difficult for you to hear. But of course, it could work in reverse, okay? Maybe, you know, this is you. Something that you say could just be really, although it's very truthful, it's very honest and it's very raw and it might be difficult for your person to hear. But of course, this could be just how the conversation between you and your individual goes, right? The both of you may, you know, may have said things or even continue to say things that hurt each other. Okay, and the reason why your person is doing it or why you're even doing it is because it's coming from a place of hurt. So if you guys are quite angry at each other or if they're lashing out in anger, if they're acting like they're not bothered by it, but clearly they are, right? By this no contact, no communication, um, it's because your person is hurting underneath, okay? Underneath all that anger, all that lashing out, there is hurt. And you know what they say, hurt people go around hurting others. Um, Queen of Pentacles is a very strong indication that this is someone who does care about you. Okay, they do care about you. Sure enough, they may have a funny way of showing it, but this is this is someone who cares and they care deeply. And it's because that they cared that they got hurt so much. Or if it's you, it's because that you care about this person that you're so upset. You're so upset at this no contact, no communication, or you're so upset at whatever it is that's you know that's gone down between the two of you. It's because you care. If you didn't care, well, you wouldn't care, right? You just You'll not be phased at it, you know, by it at all. But it's because feelings are involved here between you and this individual. It doesn't matter even if it's like the early stages of a relationship. Um, clearly, you know, the both of you have caught feelings for each other, and you care about you care about each other quite um, quite deeply. Okay. Um, the other thing is just going back to the King of Swords energy. Um, this upcoming conversation that I see between you and your person is just. A bit of um, advice there. It's just so important to not weaponize your words because whether it's yourself or your person, there's a tendency to sort of lean towards that energy, you know, because this person is hurting or you're hurting someone, he's sort of, you know, weaponizing their words. They're hurt and they want the other person to, you know, feel the pain or they want the other person to, um, you know, to get back at them or get even, that kind of energy. If you can, if you are able to try and not feed into that energy, same goes for your person. But, you know, um, that's that. Look, there is a new beginning on the cards. I feel like, you know, whatever has gone on between or is going on between you and your person, there is a new beginning on the cards as suggested by the Ace of Pentacles. And then below it, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, this person does feel like, you know, they're playing into your destiny. This person does feel like it, it is a soulmate energy. Okay, so even if things seem like beyond repair at this stage don't worry don't stress let it go because the cards strongly indicate that there is a an opportunity in the future for the two of you to reconnect okay and the thing about this reconnection it's not that it's not just you know the two of you are coming back 
and repeating the same mistakes or repeating the same hurts, I feel like you're really learning from it. You're really learning from the experience that you've had, you know, with one another and you're really, you've really grown from it and you are growing through it. So whether there's been like, you know, a separation um, stage between you, whether it's lasted for weeks or months or perhaps even years for some of you, in that time, okay, it doesn't matter how long it's been, but during that period, there's been a lot of reflecting, there's been a lot of, you know, um, looking back on things, a lot of introspection, and that's really going to help the two of you come back together. So not only are you reconnecting, but you're doing it better this time, because you're like, the both of you are really aware of, you know, each other's strengths and flaws, and you know, you're both aware of why it didn't work out the first time, and neither of you are willing to repeat the same mistake. So the Ace of Pentacles is this, you know, strong indicator here that there is room in this connection. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, but there is room in this connection for the both of you to become so much more than what you are. Okay? There's room for growth. There's room in this connection for this to be so much more than what it is, you know? So say, for instance, if you guys are friends, there's room to become lovers. You know, if this is a friendship, you know, it's going to grow into a romantic connection. If the two of you are close, there's room to get even closer, right? So what you have is something very special. And I think you recognize it, right? I think that's why you're here. And your person does recognize it. It's just that, you know, being human is not easy. It's not. Okay, being human is complex. Um, it's not easy. It's not straightforward. So, you know, just be kind to yourself. Be kind to your person. Because I feel like the both of you want this to work. But just remember, as there are two sides to every coin, two sides to every pentacle, it's also so important to, it's so important for you, as well as your person, to consider each other's perspective. So, you know, you feel what you feel, and your, your feelings are absolutely valid. But at the same time, your person feels what they feel, okay? And their feelings are valid too. So just, you know, don't forget that, I guess. Two sides to every coin, two sides to every pentacle. Um... It may feel, okay, the energies may feel as though your person is ignoring you right now. They may feel as though, um, you know, they're not focused on you right now. And someone here, I don't know if it's you, I don't know if it's your person, but someone here wishes they were paying, you know, they were getting paid more attention. Someone wishes that they, you know, could have, like, for example, if it's your person, they wish that you would give them more of your attention, more of your energy. If it's you, you're wishing that your person would give, you know, you more of their attention and their energy. So someone feels like they're being completely ignored, like their feelings are being dismissed, like the whole situation is just being dismissed. It feels like that. It probably seems like that too, actually, I'm just being honest, but it's not the case. I just feel like someone here is really in their head a lot. So I don't know if it's your person. Like they may be so much in their head about certain things that, yeah, look, they're kind of neglecting you or they're kind of neglecting the situation because they're so focused on what they're feeling. They're so focused on what's going on with them that they're forgetting to focus on you. They're forgetting to stop and think, hey, you know, how does my person feel in all of this? Or if it's you, you know, same story, right? It just, there's a need for someone just to, you know, if they can just get out of your head, I guess especially with the four of pentacles uh the four of cups sorry because it's not doing you any favors it's not doing this connection any favors um look i feel like what you have that like what you know what lies ahead between you and this person is so much better than what you've had in the past and i think you just have to be really patient both the suit of pentacles and the suit of cups is more of a slower moving energy okay so if i were to correlate this to any time frame as to when communication might come up um, it may take a little bit of time. Actually, no, contact communication might come in sooner, but you might not get a whole lot from this conversation, okay? Some words that might be said, some words that might be exchanged, although they're truthful, they are painful. So King of Swords, you know, he's fast acting, he doesn't mess around. So contact communication between you and your person could happen very quickly. Um, how quickly? As soon as this reading, that kind of quickly. As soon as you watch this reading, you know, it could happen within hours, within days maybe even within weeks <clears throat> but the actual like progression of the connection the actually the actual progression of reconciliation you know reconnecting getting back into things that's going to take its time and it's a good thing because you don't want to rush this okay maybe you guys rushed it the first time and hey look what happened look where they got used right so just take your time you know um go with it do not put too much pressure on yourself or in this relationship or you know 
on the whole having to reconnect by a certain time frame just honestly just really appreciate where you're at and just take it slow with this connection especially with reconnecting because you know there's a reason why things didn't work out the first time right there's a reason and you don't want to sort of repeat those patterns you don't want to repeat those mistakes and speaking of patterns that's what i see like with the wheel of fortune and you know the star with the pentacles there are certain patterns okay that are not to be repeated so if you can interrupt those patterns this is absolutely going to help your relationship what am I going on about here? Well, patterns, like for example, if you guys are constantly argued or if you argued in the, you know, constantly argued in the past and find a way to work through those arguments, okay, find a better way of communicating, agree to disagree, you know, talk it out, interrupt those patterns, right, form new patterns, but better patterns, healthier patterns. Knight of Cups, your person is coming in with a love offer, with an emotional love offer. Your person is very much a romantic, or maybe you are. I mean, the Knight of Cups is, you know, he's the... He's Mr. Seductive over here, so someone is coming in with a love offer. Someone is coming in with an open heart, which is a really good energy. So not only does your person, like, I feel like your person wants to reconnect, but I feel like they're afraid. This is what it feels like. I feel like your person is afraid of how much they love you or how much they see themselves falling in love with you. That's big. Stop and think about that for a moment. So they've got all this love to give, but they're scared, okay? Okay. Um, where is this fear coming from? Look, it could stem way back, okay? It could stem way back to their upbringing, to their childhood environment, um, you know, to just to the previous relationships, okay? That, that's, that's another story that we don't have time to get into. But your person loves you and is afraid of how much they love you or they see themselves falling in love with you and are afraid of just how much they could grow to love you, okay? But they do know something, they, they do know there's something so special about you, they do know there's something so special about this connection, and they do know that they want to give it another chance. They're being a little bit cautious about it, okay? And I think you can sort of, you can see it in their behavior, you can see it in the way that they, like, you can feel it, you can feel that they, you know, they want you and they, they want this and they want to make it work, but you can feel them being a little bit distant, right? Whether it's emotionally, whether it's sort of physically, that's because they're scared, okay? Maybe they were really hurt by what happened between, uh, you know, the both of you. Maybe they were really hurt by the fact that they hurt you. So they're just trying to approach things differently. So do be patient. The Wheel of Fortune is a reminder, you know, this is the Soulmate Tarot card of the deck. You don't need, you don't need me to tell you this. So strong indication that there is something very destined about this. There's something very soulmatey about you and this person about this connection so if you guys are indeed soulmates i mean it's only natural that you're going to end up together okay and if you trust that then just don't put pressure on it let it be but the wheel is a, like the wheel is a constant reminder that you know whatever is up must come down and whatever's down goes back up again right so if you're going through a funk right now there are better days ahead okay no contact right now means contact in the future you know, a funky phase right now means a better stage in the future, right? A disconnection right now means a connection in the a reconnection in the future. So things are going to get better for you and between you and this person. All you have to do is trust the process, okay? Because this person is coming back to you. It's just a matter of when. And you're coming back to this person. The both of you are coming back to each other. It's just a matter of when. Time is tricky because time is non-linear. It's fluid. It's, it's man-made. It's a social con uh, social construct. So this is why time can be very tricky. But, you know, if you sort of, if you really work on yourself, focus on yourself, that'll help you re-attract your person. That'll help you, you know, re-attract communication back up. And I do see contact communication be very quickly in the near future. Um, but again, it, you know, that, that, that'll be conversation um, that, you know, the both of you really need to have. And it'll be a bit back and forth but the actual progression of the reconnection is going to take a little bit longer than you'd like but be patient and don't rush it all right guys these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to this channel bye